What is happening collectors? I've got a really quick video for today because I just wanted to show you this box that I received a little while ago. I've been, I've been holding it. Check out this Deoxys. I've got the Deoxys v, VMAX and V-Star battle box, but I thought like, look at the, look at how off centered that Deoxys is. That is just absolutely wild. This only has a couple packs in it, so this is gonna take us long, but I just wanted to show you that. And I know some collectors out there love miscut cards like this. And you know, I could keep it sealed, but you know me, I don't keep stuff sealed. So I'm gonna crack into it. Let's let's take a closer look at that card. Well, and as I'm opening it up, look at this. I love how they, you know, Pokemon just kind of throws in this like, so it just gives it kind of a more of a pop for a back. It's just this like purple back, but then it actually talks about, you know, and if you want to read what that is, it's the Deoxys VMAX V-Star Battle Box Upgrade Guide. So it's got a whole bunch of information in English only, which is interesting because, you know, Canadian laws and different languages. Uh, but um, that is really, really cool. That has a lot of information, but I thought that was kind of a cool little insert. So in this box, we get the Deoxys V-Star Jumbo card, and you know how much I love my jumbos. Um, and it comes with four packs. We will look at those packs in a moment. Let's crack this open here. Let's take a look at all these cards. There is a code card. And we have got ourselves a Deoxys V, and that is Sword and Shield 266. Next, we have got the Deoxys V-Star. That is uh, Sword and Shield 267. That is actually a really cool card. That is a very cool card. But the reason, oh my goodness, look at the back of this. Wow, all right, let's get this out nice and easy because look at that. Wow, that is, I don't know if I see the dots. Oh yeah, you know what? There it is. There is that little white dot there. That is not a whitening. That is actually the centering dot. So that's how they make sure they line up the cards is with these little white dots. Or I'm pretty sure that's, that's what that is. I don't see one on the top because it looks like it shifted a smidge down, but that's pretty wild. So there is the Deoxys. I mean, I would call this I would call this OC, but you know, PSA, I know they don't grade and I don't really care. I'm not gonna agree this is OC. I just think that is really, really cool. That, uh, you know, what's really interesting is that the texture is truly like, it's not on the on the silvering on the side. So it just, it looks so funny seeing like a flat piece on a textured card here. You just see the complete flat side. So that's really cool. I, th I mean, that's a neat piece that I'm gonna just keep in my collection. And then you get a lovely beast marker. You gotta protect this card. It's gonna be worth so many pennies, so many pennies in the future. I would say at least 100 pennies, at, like, at the bare minimum, maybe 101, we'll see. So pack selection here, we have got Lost Origin, another Lost Origin, Astro Radiance, and Brilliant Stars. You know what? Not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, we, we've got a few uh, alternate arts that we could pull that I would love. We've got some trainer galleries that we could pull that I would love. So let's see what kind of luck we can get today. Starting with Lost Origins, uh, Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl alternate art, that is what we are looking here. So hello darkness, my old friend. We've got Riley, and I, you know what? Um, Lost Origins, I did enjoy the set. Um, I'm missing uh, a lot of it, as I am with most sets. Machop Reverse, we are starting with Air. Not the Aerodactyl that I was talking about, but it is technically an Aerodactyl. But you know what? I probably do need um, that Aerodactyl because I don't remember ever actually seeing that one. So let's let's see if we can get something spicy in this pack. There we go. One, two, three, four, because this is Sword and Shield. All right, here we go. Water, Energy, Luminion. Machoke, Machoke just looking off in the distance. Wow, what do you think he is contemplating? Hmm. Hmm. That's a great question. Great question. These are these are the things that we need to know. Zorua, Paris, a Riley reverse, and we have got a hollow chandelure. So that text that, that counts as a hit. So that's you know two for two. Can we go three for three here with Astral Radiance? You know, and the question is, is if I get a trainer gallery. I guess that still counts as a hit. I would say though my trainer gallery luck out of um, like collection boxes like this is pretty not great. I don't have that luck, but you know what? Maybe today, we'll, maybe today, maybe it's gonna happen. Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Hesuian Voltorb, Miltank, Reverse Rare, 
and a Reggie Drago non-holographic. So that's a bit of a bummer. We missed that there. We're gonna finish with some brilliant stars. As I'm opening this, please consider subscribing if you could. I would love it. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you could, leave a like on this video as well if you like this kind of content and hit that notification bell. Why not? And leave a comment. Why not? We're just having fun here. We're having some fun. Let me know, actually. I guess, you know, I could ask you a question. What do you think of this collection box? And when you get a miscut card like that, do you find that interesting? Is that something that you uh, strive to find? Or is that, you know, uninteresting to you? I'd love to know that. Sigalif, we've got a sock. Sokka to me. Riolu, Starly, Oranguru. I just skipped, skipped a few. We got an Oranguru and a Moltres Hollow. Thanks for watching. Have yourself an amazing day.